and welcome to this week's EmergingStars.com. The program with success stories, inspiring entrepreneurs and business opportunities from the emerging markets. My name is Bike Chuadar, I'm from Turkey and I'm happy that you're watching. Please find out more on what you can expect from this week's episode now. In this week's episode of Emerging Stars, we see how a fast-growing company in Istanbul, Turkey deals with 50,000 food delivery orders per day. We will also learn more about the success of call centers in South Africa. And we visit Egypt after the revolution to see why two young brothers became the new leaders in the region for stationary products. Istanbul, the business capital of Turkey. At 75 million and growing, Turkey's population is set to soon overtake Germany's, currently the largest in the European Union. Many people to feed, and this is where Yemek Sepeti comes in. An online food delivery service with 5,000 restaurants across the country. Let's meet the owners, Nevzat Aydin and Melio Demis. We wanted to create a model that uh, the, the, the both sides, the restaurants and the users, they will both be happy to participate in. That, that, that was the main motto. The company keeps the young staff motivated by creating a unique office with relaxation areas, sports facilities and unusual workspaces. We want people to be happy at the office. We want them to come smiling at the office. We want them to stay, I mean, to like to stay at the office. In, in five years, we'll probably be in more than 10 countries, most of them probably emerging markets. The order magnitude will be not in like 50,000s, but uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands daily. And uh, we will be in a bigger place, office. When Nevzat and Meli started, they were close friends. But surely this friendship changed under the pressure of growing a company. We fight a lot. And, but I mean, if you don't fight, it, I mean, that's worse. Because out of fight, it, something should come better than what we would think of ourselves, like if we were alone. We're in Johannesburg, South Africa, and here we meet Candice Roberts, founder of Call Force Direct, a leading recruitment and training company for the call center industry in South Africa. Candice was working as a human resource consultant before she had the idea to start for herself. Nowadays, she knows all about phone calls, creating jobs and happy customers. I come from a family where both my mother and father were small business owners. Um, I would describe my father as a serial entrepreneur. Both him and my mother were a huge inspiration to me. My life is so integrated with this business. My, li my personal life, my work life, and I'm so happy with what I'm doing. I've got great business partners in terms of shareholders. Um, I've got a great team that I work with. So it's very hard for me to imagine it. I think I will retire at Corforce. I just hope I'm not 80 uh, with a walking stick trying to hobble up the passage. But, um, you know, I can't at this point imagine selling it. It's my baby. It's just my work baby. We want to be in success and working hard to, to do something good. This is our brand. We are and the quality we always uh, focus on having a good price and a good quality. Allah and Tarek are passionate about their business and they feel that passion is crucial to be successful. You do something you love. Any, if you love a business, if you, for example, if you're into fashion, if you're into cars, if you're into whatever, for, you know, start to work in a business that you like. Me and my Allah is always social, thinking, social. Of, thinking of business uh, and trying to do new products, trying to do uh, anything that will, f will give us feel of uh, success. Because when you start uh, feeling the success, it's like an addiction. You cannot stop. You do your best to be more, more and more successful. 